Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco and thank you once again for joining us. Today I'm joined by Mario, uh, one of our customer success managers, to talk about multi-websites and managing uh, multi-websites from one database in Odoo. Thank you for joining us, Mario. Thank you very much. Happy Thursday, Noel. Happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, if you have any questions regarding today's topic, please put them in the chat and we will answer them in the uh, at the end during our Q&A session. Additionally, if you have questions regarding other topics uh, or webinars in general, you can always send us an email to webinars at odoo.com. Or if you're an existing Odoo customer, we always recommend that you reach out uh, to your account managers. Uh, so let's see, with all that being said, go ahead and take it away, Mario. Thank you very much, Noel. So today we're going to be talking about multi-website uh, managing on Odoo. As you know, uh, companies globalize and as uh, different uh, options need to be offered to different customers, it's very important that you're able to uh, direct them into the right website and website experience. And so that's where multi-website comes into uh, really good use. So today we're going to start out, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, load our uh, Odoo instance and we're going to go ahead and just click. And we're going to see right now our dashboard. This is just a general dashboard. Um, just to acquaint yourself a little bit, um, this is just a general overview of your metrics. You can definitely customize what you see um, by changing the different options. Um, like I always say, Odoo filters uh, is very, very powerful. It's a very great tool to use. Um, it helps save a lot of time and uh, definitely helps you uh, uh, add favorites and so forth. Um, and just to further equate ourselves with the dashboard, we're going to see right here that we have Google Analytics. Um, Google Analytics would connect uh, to this and we could uh, see what the foot traffic is from where and so on and so forth. You can see this on both websites. You can see this by also a time frame. Um, we're going to go ahead and see that right here you can also see uh, different options for your orders, your unpaid orders. Uh, your abandoned cart, that's usually when people leave something um, without finishing the purchase, so it's very good to keep track of that um, and perhaps send some uh, directed uh, marketing to finish that transaction. Your products, the product variants, um, your reporting. We're going to go ahead and go into settings right now because we're going to be working with multi-website today. We want to go ahead and make sure that we scroll down and that our multi-website option is already turned on uh, because, uh, you know, uh, it's out of the box, it's not an option that is set. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that it's turned on. We're going to scroll up and when we scroll up, we're going to see that there's two different options here for websites. You can also create a website uh, very easily. And uh, we're just going to show you since uh, the two are already created. Um, we, this would be website three. You would just put the rest of the information in um, and you would kind of go from there. Um, but since you already have two set up for time saving uh, uh, efficiency, we're going to go ahead and just work on that. So when we're in this uh, part of the page, we're going to see that uh, if we choose website, everything underneath it is the customization options for the for that particular website. Same thing goes for when you do website two. It's going to give you all the customization <laughs> options. So on web, we're going to go back to website one, uh, and, we see, and we can see here that we can change the name, we can change the icon, the languages that are used, um, how um, uh, customers can access their accounts, um, the domain, um, which group of people get to see this. Um, this will be an important. Uh, I'll expand on this on website two. Um, which we're going to now. And with website two, same thing. We go ahead and um, can see here that uh, we can change the languages, the, the name, um, and the way it's done. Very important, domain. They can share the same domain, but they're going to have to have uh, some differences. So this is where I was talking about before, that you can direct the traffic from Europe to your website too, that you can uh, direct your uh, different types of customers to the different websites that you need them to uh, take a look at. So now that we have this configuration, let's go ahead and go back to our website app. 
and we're going to go to the websites. Right now, uh, we started our website two. Um, let's go ahead and cust uh, let's go back to website one. Let's go ahead and familiar size familiar size cells with the options here. So, um, right up here, we have um, we can edit the menu. We can add different options. Um, let's just do today. Let's just do jobs. Very important. And uh, whatever the URL is, so it would be slash jobs. Then we can toggle where it goes, so we'll, we'll just put it there. And you'll see it will show up right here in our menu. You can also customize um, how it, the page looks. And that will be very conveniently. Um, you can see here that it will give you different options to the page. You can change however you would like to see it uh, displayed. You could also add something new. So um, some of these will add an, an extra application. Um, since Odoo is so integrated, it will definitely make uh, uh, the integration very easy. So don't be scared of adding a new um, application if um, it suits you, kind of like uh, the new appointment type. Uh, but today we're going to do a um, new job offer since we just made the new option. Um, it's going to make us install. Does it automatically, thankfully. Remember that we're going to actually add a new event since it's already there. Um, we're going to put job fair. And here we can edit to see how we want it to look. So we're going to move this one option. You can put the details there, but it also has these streamlined areas so that information is easy to see. We also have up here, uh, very easily, we can turn on and off the ability to publish it. So we want to go ahead and keep it published. We're going to go uh, now to website two. And website two is very much independent on its own. Oh, we're at technical difficulties.
Okay, so now we see website two. Um, we're going to go ahead and, you know, we can also do all the same customizations. We can add different sort of options here so that people can see it. And we keep that streamlined information here for uh, a quick reference. We're going to go ahead and save. And we see here it's published. We have our website version. And like prior, we can go ahead and see that we can have different menus here. Um, like I said before, we added jobs. Uh, maybe we add uh, outreach for community service. Uh, we toggle it back to where we want it. We see, of course, it comes up here, um, and it, and same same premise goes. Um, now we're gonna have our products, right? So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look at how we would configure our products to be shown on both websites. And I have a few products here just already preloaded, just to save time. And so we go ahead and see that this is storable uh, uh, item. Um, and all that good jazz. Um, we're going to go to over here to e-commerce, and if you choose one or the other, it's going to. If I choose website uh, one, it's going to only show up at website one. But if I don't indicate which one, then it will show up in two. And your products would definitely be um, on both. So we can see. Let's go back to websites. Yeah, so we see our products are all here. That's website two. So let's see website one. We see that we have the same products because they're all we made them all available to be sold on both websites. Thank you very much. Uh, this uh, shows the full array of what is possible on a multi website on Odoo. Great. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you, Mario. Uh, I know that this is a, a powerful feature that uh, I'm sure a lot of businesses could use, especially if they're uh, international or anything like that. Um, it doesn't look like we have uh, any questions at the moment. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching us today. Uh, thank you, Mario, for uh, walking us through this presentation. If you have any lingering questions regarding uh, multi-websites or any other Odoo features, you're more than welcome to send us an email to webinars at odoo.com, and we'll be happy to direct you to uh, uh, the person that can answer your question. Additionally, don't forget, we are in Odoo tour mode. We are currently promoting our version 12. And uh, we have events currently uh, all over the world, both here in the United States and Latin America, all around the world. You can find all of the information regarding our events at odoo.com slash events. Mario, is there anything else you'd like to add before we go? Uh, nothing much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> all right. Well, then, uh, everybody, enjoy your weekends. We will see you all next time.